All right, let's take a look at something that is really awesome. This is where HTML5 is headed, and one of the new features that Firefox has uh, implemented more than any of the other browsers is drag and drop. So let's build a little drag and drop application where we're going to drop a file, an image, into the browser, into a, a, a square in the browser, and it's going to read that image and show it on the page so cool. Alright, let's do that. So let's create a div and we're just going to give style equals um, border 1 pixel solid black width 100 pixels height 100 pixels, right? Uh, yeah, and then slash div. And then uh, let's just see if we got that. Okay, uh, now there are two event listeners that make this possible. Okay, so I'm going to kind of enter that down there. So there's two event listeners that are built for this, right? There is um, on drag over, which we need solely for the purpose of blocking. Okay, so we're just going to do um, uh, we're just going to do event dot stop propagation propagation, and we're also going to do event dot uh, prevent default. This Firstly, stops the browser from doing whatever it was supposed to do. Okay. The next cool event is on drop, and again we're on dropping on the element. So on drop equals event dot stop, because again we want to stop what the browser is going to do and then do what we want to do. And this one event dot prevent default. Now there's one more action here, and that's going to be a new function called drop do do drop. And that's we're going to actually pass that the event. Again, we haven't written that yet. We're about to. So let's just refresh. Okay, no error is good. So we actually need to make that function. So we're just going to call it function do drop. And that's going to pass event. Okay. Let's just look. Console.log event. So let's go ahead and pull up a browser. And let's drop a image into here. Okay, so event.stopprogignation is not a function and everything failed. So I must have spelled it wrong. Event dot stop prop agnation. Event dot prop agnation. What did I spell wrong? You know what, whatever. I'll just copy and paste it. Oh, yeah, I had it wrong over there. And there too. Propagation. Oh, stop propagation. Sorry. Okay, let's refresh this. Okay, so let's take an image, not mail, and let's drop an image into here. Okay, nothing happened yet, but we got this drop event. Let's click that. So we've got this data transfer. Let's see what's in here. Uh, we've got drop effect none, effect allowed move. We've got a files list, which is really interesting. Let's take a look at the files list. Item zero, one. Okay, nothing in there. So let's go down to types, get types. Okay, we've got Mo's files and files. So we really don't have, we don't really know what we dropped here, right? So you're thinking, okay, well, that's not really very helpful. You're right, it's not, but we can get really helpful. So uh, let's go a little bit farther. Um, so that's event. So um, let's store, let's store that data transfer, because I know we're going to need it, to event. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's store the files. So files are going to be equal to event.data transfer dot files. And again, if we console.log files, it's not going to be very interesting. Let's take a look and let's uh and let's go ahead and drop an image. Okay, so files list zero. Okay, so zero ah here we go. Now when we dump files we get a zero here. Okay, there's the name of the thing uh, there's the name that we dropped. Now we're really in business. Obviously you can know how to use this now. We've got a file size. We've got a full path to the file, which is not filled out. We've got the name of the file, okay, and then we've got a type of the file, okay. This is really important stuff here. This is really good stuff, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to utilize that. So now we've got that files, right? Obviously, you can see that there's multiple files. I'm only going to be doing this as if it's one file. So let's actually create an image on the page now. So let's do var image equals document dot create element element image and that's going to be equal to var image and now we will store the URL of the image which would be uh, uh, well let's take a look real quick again at 
what we had here in terms of uh, files zero. Let's just take a look one more time because we can't store the path to this file. Let's take a look. Okay, so we had that. So we had get as data URL. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. It's illegal for the browser to load local things. It's a security risk. But that data URL is a base64 encoded image. Okay, that's actually used all over the place. See this image here in Firefox? This image is not an image. It's actually a base64 encoded piece of data that displays as an image. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to simply say image.source is going to be equal to Im images, I'm sorry, files zero dot, uh, that was get as data URL. URL. Okay? And now we just need to add it to the page. So document, document.body.append child image. Now check this out. And then while we're at it, uh, and you know what? Let's just leave it like that. Check this out. This is awesome. Drag an image right in here. Boom. There's our image. Now you're thinking, what, what is this image? Well, let's take a look at what this image really is. This image, look at the source. It's data. That's all this is, is just pure data. And the reason this is, you're allowed to do this is because you're allowed to display data. The browser now knows, and actually it always has known, how to render Base64 encoded data as an image, which is really awesome. Uh, because now uh, the browser is not, it's not a security risk to, to have local files on. I mean, it's still a security risk to have local files, but this is not having local files. So now, using this drag and drop with HTML5, just imagine the kind of web applications that you can build with this kind of technology.